All right, this is case 231395. This is People versus Elijah Vegas. Uh, good morning, Your Honor. Nicole Matusko on behalf of people. Good morning, Your Honor. Marcus Beldora on behalf of defendants. So many speaking to me. Good morning, Your Honor. Marcus Beldora on behalf of people. Good morning, Your Honor. Marcus Beldora on behalf of defendants. So, Mr. Beldora, this is Mr. Clayton. Mr. Beldora. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Mr. Matusko. Thank you, Your Honor. It's my understanding today is the date and time set for a probable cause conference. At this time, the parties are going to unconditionally waive this matter and bind it over to the circuit court as charged. That's correct, Your Honor. Sorry, the circuit. I get you to come over to the podium. Sir, do you understand what's going on? Yes, Your Honor. So, as a person charged with a felony, you have a right to have a hearing. That hearing is called a preliminary examination and the purpose of that hearing is to sort of put the prosecutor to her proofs about being able to show that there's probable cause to believe that a felony occurred and probable cause to believe that you're the person who committed the felony. Ms. Matusko couldn't do that on behalf of the people of the state of Michigan. Then the charges against you could potentially be dismissed. What I understand from the lawyers is that they don't believe that it's necessary to have that hearing. What the lawyers are saying, that means that all further proceedings in the case will be in circuit court. And the important thing for you to realize about that is that you do not have a right to have that hearing in circuit court. And even if you go to circuit court and then come back to this court for some reason, you may have effectively given up the right to have that hearing at all. So, you understand all that? I understand, Your Honor. I want to make sure that you're doing this voluntarily. Has anyone threatened you or forced you to get you to do this? No, Your Honor. Has anyone made any promises to you to get you to do this? No, Your Honor. You're doing this after having a complete opportunity to discuss this matter with Mr. Valdori? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Valdori has been able to answer all of your questions and address all of your concerns with regard to this? Yes, Your Honor. It looks like you actually signed an examination waiver form, too. Is that true? Yes, Your Honor. Did you sign that form understanding that when you sign a document, a legal document, it means that you read it, you understood it, and you agreed with it? Is that true? Yes, Your Honor. And so you did, in fact, sign this document as well? All right. I believe that this matter should be bombed over to circuit court. The examination is waived up as of today's date, which is September 26th. It's bombed over. Are the charges of the complaint the same to this court? Yes, Your Honor. Is there a plea offer to place on the record at this point? No, Your Honor. At this time, the parties have not participated in any plea negotiations to place on the record. Are there any questions with regard to bond? Your Honor, so the record is clear. I did have a chance to speak with probation as well as the tether company. It appears that Mr. Vegas has only left his house to go to his testing appointments, and all the tests have been negative. We would ask that this court keep all conditions of bond in place to include his scram tether with a home base so we're getting those test results daily, as well as house arrest. He is to remain on current bond conditions with house arrest and his scram tether. Anything else for purposes of the record? No, Your Honor. Thank you. Mr. Valdor? Nothing further, Your Honor. Do you have any questions or concerns? No, Your Honor. Then that's going to be all for the record. By the way, the court will handle everything from here. I'm not sure we'll be able to schedule the pre-trial, but obviously you'll be able to get in touch with the court and find out that information now. Okay? Yes. All right. Then that's going to be all for this matter. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you.
Page 23, 14, 21. This is People versus Tyler Martin. Good morning, Your Honor. Bob Marshall on behalf of the people. Good morning, Your Honor. Toby White. I'm here on behalf of Mr. Martin, and he is with me at council table. So what's going on, Jim? Just tell me what's happening. Um, if this is a, uh, we're leaving this on for an exam at this point in time. Okay. Uh, what I want to address just briefly is bond. Uh, the bond is set right now at $50,000 cash surety. Okay. And uh, I think that's excessive um, for several reasons. One, the nature of the charge. This, this is nothing like a life or 20 year offense. This is a, an aggravated stalking. And I understand that the court needs to protect the alleged victim in this case. And that can be adequately done if he is on a scram tether because alcohol is allegedly involved. And if he's on a scram tether and he's on house arrest, except that he can go to work uh, and return directly home, that that would adequately, adequately protect the alleged victim. In this case, he has no prior criminal history. Um, he's a scientist that works at Neogen. So he's a responsible citizen providing for himself and providing val value obviously to uh, Neogen. And uh, as I said, alcohol is the issue. Further, um, further contact of any kind, direct, indirect, carrier, pigeon, whatever, uh, would result in A, this court locking him up then um, until this court loses jurisdiction. B, he has a PPO, which he's been served with. Uh, my understanding is he's not even gonna challenge the PPO. This is an ex-wife um, and they, that's where these issues come from. Judge Garcia signed that PPO. And so he also would immediately incarcerate him if there was any uh, issue at all, if he's on a scram tether, and if he is allowed only to go to work and only to go home, they will have no trouble locating him if there should be any kind of problem that arises for the victim, or alleged victim. Solution. Your Honor, while this is not a, a life offense, I would argue that ag stalking is still a pretty serious um, allegation to have against you. Um, I am not as up to date as Ms. Sonero is on this case. I would ask that the court leave bond as is and ask that um, this be um, argued next week at the preliminary exam. Your Honor, can I make one final comment? And that is that yeah, this is an ag stalking, but I, I want to be clear, this is not an ag stalking based upon violation of a previous court order. This is an ag stalking simply because he alleged uh, that he might commit uh, an injury. That's the allegation from this. So it's not like he showed any defiance of any court orders um, at all. That's not how we got to this ag stalking. Well, stalking, the very nature of is contact after the person has been advised if they don't want to have contact. When you tell me that is that an ex-spouse, I think that kind of raises the ante of what's going on. I'm not sure why it is that Ms. Gatsi implemented a bond of $50,000 cash surety, but I know historically she's very lenient with regard to what it is that she orders in terms of the bond amount. So I'm I'm thinking that maybe there's more to this than meets the eye. Um, a pretrial statement from pretrial folks to tell me what their recommendation would be after doing an investigation. That would be somewhat helpful. So I think if you were really interested in seeing how a realistic shot at having this bond reduced, probably should get in touch with pretrial services and see if they'll do the bond report have something more to, to know about the background. Okay. All right. So I guess, so my request is denied and I will have him contact uh, pretrial services so that the next time we convene, you'll have a better idea. Yeah. Not to um, mention if we run an exam at that time. Today is denied without prejudice. And uh, we'll see if pretrial services comes up with something that they can I'm not saying that the recommendation would necessarily be followed. I'm just saying that that would provide me with more information and maybe that would be the opportunity. Yeah, no, I understand that. Okay. I understand that.
is the one you think of guarantee that there would be some sort of a, of a change. Or you know, be better than that. Because yeah, I know. I know you, and I know the law. That's just a recommendation. Okay. All right. And that's going to be all for the record. Today. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor. Good. This one. Take us off the record. Thank you.